My arms were pulled out of their sockets during my crucifixion and, as such, the image on the Turin Shroud shows this. Thursday, July 19, 2012 at 7 a.m. My dearly beloved daughter a great plan, to deceive God's children, is being plotted to destroy evidence of my existence. Soon many will come forth, masquerading as wholly devout servants of mine, to try and destroy belief in me, your beloved Jesus. They will start by questioning my birth, my mother's purity and my resurrection from the dead. They will demonize all of these things as being false and will present, what they call the proof, to ensure that as many Christians as possible will become doubtful about my life on earth. They will create lies about my crucifixion and make claims about my moral character. Then they will start attacking relics, question them and try to expose them as nothing more than superstition in the minds of Christians. Then there is the Turin Shroud, the cloth that covered my dead body in the tomb. They will deny, finally, that it is authentic and promote lies. My arms they will say are too long and they will question this. Yet they fail to understand the torture my body had to endure during my crucifixion. My arms were pulled out of their sockets during my crucifixion and, as such, the image on the Turin Shroud shows this. Then they will try to prove that the resurrection never took place. All lies, they will say, so desperate are they to wipe out all traces of me. Then they will try to deprive all of those who convert during the warning of the Holy Sacraments and the Holy Bible. They will ban the Bible from most places. Then they will introduce a new false book which they will say will proclaim the importance of loving one another. They will use the love which Christians have in their hearts, a gift from God, to manipulate them into accepting a message of so-called love. Love one another they will say. Now love one another's religion. Join together as one religion and show true love for your brothers and sisters. Love of oneself will be the underlying message. Love yourself first and you will find it easier to love your neighbor will be their message and this will be the biggest lie they will force you, my followers, to swallow. Love of oneself ahead of others offends God. It is selfish. Do not listen to the lies. Yet so convincing will they be that many will believe what they are being told and will follow the leader of this one world religion like lambs to the slaughter. Infiltrating so many nations the new world religion will be condoned by many governments. They will ruthlessly stamp out Christian laws. They will then create laws to ban all religions, especially Christianity. They will impose penalties on those who do not respond to their demands. Communism will be at the root of all this evil. It is not that communism promotes atheism. It will be because it will promote hatred of God. Russia and China will be in power in many nations, starting with Europe. The European Union, the beast with the ten horns, will be devoured by the second beast, more ruthless and more powerful. Then communism will take root before it spreads everywhere. This period will not last long. It will be short. Your prayers will dilute the impact but this has been foretold and will unfold. Pray, pray, pray for the conversion of the whole world during the warning. If the majority of souls convert then much of the great tribulation can and will be eased. Your Jesus.